Hello everyone. In a previous video, we have talked about how to define a function inside a main script and also outside of the main script in MATLAB and its various applications. In this video, we're going to see how to define a function handle and an anonymous function for various applications in MATLAB. So let's get started. I have already opened the MATLAB script and saved it. Now, the first question becomes, why do we need an anonymous function in the first place? So let's say that we want to calculate or evaluate a function. Let's say the function is y equals um, x squared. This is my function where y is my output, x is my input. Now, as we know, MATLAB works is that MATLAB executes one line at a time and it, it executes um, one line after another. So it will execute the first line and then it will see the second line as an empty line and then it will execute the third line. The thing here is that whenever it executes line three, it will generate an error because it doesn't know what is the value of x. So it, it wants to know the input variable before defining the function. So if we want to solve this function or equation later or use this function in another way, um, we can't do that before, before um, defining it. Let's run it and see. And uh, it, sh it, sh it shows a variable and it says unrecognized function of variable x. So we can't do that. So if we just define x equals to, let's say, 1 and run it, then it will run uh, and has a y variable as one. So how to how to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we will define an anonymous function that will say that this x variable is just an input and don't try to evaluate in this line. We'll use it use it in a later line as a function. So to do, to do that, we will use at operator. So at parenthesis. Now, in the, inside the parenthesis, um, the input variable should go here. So as we have input variable as x, I will type x, and x squared is the equation. So now the, uh, the MATLAB knows that x is an input variable. So if we run this thing, it shouldn't generate any error, even if we don't define it before this line. So this is how we can define an anonymous upper, uh, function, and this is the function handle. Now, y is our function of x squared. So whatever value of x um, we input, the y will calculate the squared function. So let's see if we can call that. Let's say um, I will define sq as a squared operation call y. And if I just call, let's say, number 5, so it will have x is equal to 5 and generate 5 squared, which is 25. Let's say, um, do that. And if we run it, we can see that it generated a square. If we change that to, let's say, 10, it will actually calculate 10 squared, which is 100. And that is it. So actually, S, SQ now is generating these square values. And this y is an anonymous function here which can define any variable and calculate the square of that variable. Instead of having a square, we can have um, other functions too. Let's say we can say um, x squared plus um, two times x. We can also do that. And if we run it, it will evaluate x squared plus two x. So that is how um, we define an anonymous function and a function handle. Now, instead of having just one input variable, we can have multiple here. So I will define another example. Example with two inputs. So if, in case we have two inputs, let's define another variable, let's say y2. y2 will um, evaluate our function with two input variables and execute the squares of them. So let's define two as alpha at Let's say the first first input should be x, second input should be y, and the equation is x squared plus y squared. This is our equation that we have to evaluate, and as 
both x and y um, are unknown in, in my equation, so we have to define both as an input variable. So now if we um, calculate the um, sq2 here, sq2 should be uh, together, is my variable. And now let's say my function is y2, and we have to pass, pass uh, any input argument for x and y. Let's pass 1 and 1 for this case and evaluate um, y2, which is 2. Okay. Um, I'll put a semicolon to suppress this output. Now, as you can see, it's taking 1 as x and 1 as y and calculating x squared plus y squared function. So if we say 1 and 3, so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3, so now it should calculate 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is 10. So this one is calculating x squared plus 2x. This one is calculating x squared plus y squared. So like this, we can have more number of inputs and uh, calculate any function we want inside um, an anonymous function. Um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next one.